Okay, so we are going to be learning how to use the Kids Kindle Book Creator. There will be a link wherever you are watching this for you to download this if you do not have it. So we are going to click on Create a New Kids Book. All right, so this page does show you everything you need. So we are going to go ahead and click continue and put in the title. I'm currently doing Save the Scraps, which is my fifth book in my Save the Earth series. So it is Save the Scraps. Author name and the publisher, uh, my publishing name is my own name. Um, I decided not to go with a publishing company name and just to use my own name as the entity. You can do whatever you want in terms of your publishing company and we will talk about that on a later date. Language is English and I'm just going to go ahead and choose a different folder to save my book in for organization. So you will want to save your book in a new folder. So wherever you'd like to save it, either choose a blank folder or when you go to your path where you want to save it, create a new folder to save it in. Now for a children's book, I do want the landscape option because my book is square. Uh, I think it's nicer to see in landscape and I do put it down as spreads. I want two images side by side and then I do want it to start on the right side because this will be my title page. And if you guys are using the document I've provided on Patreon, you will probably choose these same options. So if you choose to show one image at a time, it will just be one page. Now the perk to doing one page at a time is that you will get more pages read that way. But if you are like me and all of my books, at least for the Save the Earth series, are laid out as spreads, it's really kind of annoying to have one page with words and then the other just be the other half of the picture. I'd rather lose out a little bit on my pages read than have all the individual pages. So because I'm doing one and two side by side, it will count that as one page instead of page one, page two in pages read and I hope that makes sense. But for me, I'd rather please my readers than make a little bit of extra cash just because they're the ones who I want to be happy. And I do use my eBooks a lot for promotion purposes. So I am not super worried about making a super high income based off of the eBook only. My majority of my income comes off of the physical copy sales. All right, so now you have the option to import it as a PDF, including the cover, or import your cover from a separate image file. This is what I always do, and again, if you have that document I provided on Patreon, you'll probably do this as well because on the pod companies, websites, you never upload your cover with the interior of your book. So if you have your interior book saved separately and you will likely have your cover image from your cover designer or if you did it yourself. So I am just going to go ahead and choose my cover image and you'll want to make sure that this isn't the full spread of your cover. So front and back cover together, you just want the front of your cover for this. Okay, so I have that opened and now I'm gonna start adding pages. Okay, so I just opened up my PDF document from my InDesign file and it is loading in. All right, so this popped up pretty quick and it should for you too. There is the option to add pop-up text. Uh, sometimes Kindle does require that. I use a big font so I don't have to and I don't do it. Um, so all I do right here is just go ahead and look at all my pages, make sure that everything is right and I did choose the right file. Okay, it looks good. So what I can do is go to file and save for publishing. This is gonna open that file I made earlier and I am just going to go ahead and click save and if you see it's saving in an ebook file it's 
gonna go ahead and export that. Woohoo! All right, and actually it comes up with a pop-up of how you can go ahead and upload your book. So I'm gonna go over and do that now. All right, so I am on my KDP bookshelf and I'm currently in a pre-order, so that is why I'm allowed to still make changes. And uh, if you are doing a pre-order, they will lock in your final file a certain number of days before your release. So just make sure you do update your files in time. If you're not doing a pre-order, you can change your files literally at any time. So if you find a small typo, if you wanna redo something, uh, whatever that may be, you can do so at any time. So I just need to update this because I did a small update. Okay, so I've created this folder and it will create all of these different files, but the one I want is the one that says save the scraps. So I'm just gonna click that and open and wait for it to upload. All right, so I am good to go. That is gonna process for a second and I actually updated this cover as well. So I'm just gonna update that really quick. Okay, so now that they're uploaded successfully, we can go ahead and launch our previewer. All right, so this is our preview of what customers will see, and you can actually change the device type up here to see what it looks like, and this is what it will be. So just go ahead and scroll through your ebook and make sure everything looks okay. And that is it. You'll be good to go. The next page you get to choose your pricing and then you get to click that publish button. So you've got it. Go publish your ebook today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I also have a podcast called Becoming an Author where I talk about tips and tricks that will help you on your publishing journey.